Hello Leia users and welcome to the 10th Leia video tutorial. In all previous videos we've gone over features that can be used with either the Leia Pro or the free plan and of course all of those features can also be used with Leia Business but the feature that we're going to go over today which is exclusive to Leia Business is this multiple pages feature and as you might think this allows you to add multiple pages to your Leia website and you can create as many as you want. Now as you already know Leia websites, unless they have been upgraded to Leia Business, are single page, long scrolling websites. And the reason for the shift in web design today towards that type of design is the fact that many, many users, in fact more than 50%, are accessing websites and the web in general through mobile devices. And it's a lot easier to scroll on a mobile device to the different sections of an individual web page than it is to click on a menu and then open up a link and wait for the new page to load to access that same information. But that being said, there are obviously quite a few reasons why you would want to create multiple pages in your website. And one of them was referenced in a previous video, and that's SEO. So if you have a bunch of different pages on your website, all with similar content, and those pages all link together like they do when you use this multiple pages section, that helps to improve SEO for your domain name, right, and get you higher up in the search results, in theory. Anyhow, what we're going to do is we're going to go over how to create a new web page and do a few different things with it. So let's first click this add a page button. And the very first page that I'm going to create is a page called example. Okay, because we're just going to do an example web page. Now right below that you have sections to add. So I could check off any of the existing sections of my Leia website uh, and copy the content that already exists there into my new page. So if, for example, I wanted to create a new page for each one of these sections, I could create, you know, I could call this about, right, and then I could say sections to add and click about, and it would copy the current about section that I have on this main web page over to my new one, so I didn't have to replicate any of the content. Uh, so it's just a simplicity thing. It wouldn't delete the about section from this page, but I could delete it obviously if I wanted to. You guys know how to do all that already. Anyhow, for this one, we're going to keep it as example. And for sections to add, just to illustrate what I'm talking about, I'm going to check off about and contact. Okay, so the about section of our page and the content or contact section of our page will be copied over to our new example page. Then down below that, we choose what we want to do with the menu. So we can either insert a link to this page in the menu, right, after another item that we specify. We could replace an existing item in that menu, right, so back to my about example. If I were creating a new page that was going to replace the about section, I could replace the link in the current menu with, uh, or that, that currently links to the about section with a link to the new about page. Okay, and I know that's kind of a mouthful, but it'll make more sense in a second. And to do that, I would click this. And then I could also, if I didn't want a link in the menu, click no. And so there are a few reasons that you would do that. One specific one that comes to mind would be if you were creating a new page for a blog post and you weren't using that dynamic section or the dynamic content section that we went over in a previous video. Um, to create that, that post, you would create a brand new page. And you probably don't want a link to every single blog post you do in your menu, right? You just want to have, you know, consult.site.live slash April post or something like that. And you can give that to your, your viewers or your followers or whoever you're sending the post to, and they can just go to that in their browser. However, in this particular case, we're going to say insert after menu item, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like. Okay, so now we have to choose which item currently in our menu we want to insert this new item after. So I'm going to select team and then press finish. Okay, so what Leia is doing now is creating this new example page, which is going to be at consult.site.live slash example. And it's adding the about in the contact section of our existing page to that new page. And then it's also adding a link to the example page in our menu immediately after the team item. Okay, and now once the editor loads back up, we'll be able to go back to the multiple pages section and then select that new example page that we just created and take a look at what it looks like. 
<clears throat> so as I mentioned in previous videos, sometimes Leia can be a bit slow loading while I've got all this recording equipment going on, but uh, it shouldn't only be a couple more seconds. There it goes. All right. So now if I click edit a page, Leia will pull up a list of the pages that I've added. And as you can see, I only have that one example page that I just created. So if I click edit selected, this will pull open our example page that Leia just put together. Now, as you can see, the header section here looks pretty much the same, right? This is important because you want your user to remember that they're on the same web page, right? You want to have a sense of um, uniformity, right? You want to make sure that, that your page flows, everything, everything links up well together. Um, so keeping the same fonts, colors, and, you know, an image or two between pages is actually a good thing. And so that's what Leia's done for you here. And below that, you'll see that we have the about section was copied in for us and the contact section. And Leia also chose to copy a couple of the text sections that we had created, right? A couple of these custom sections that we did in a previous video. Uh, and again, you guys know how to do this already. If you want to delete any one of these sections, you just click the delete icon and it goes away. And then I can click save changes and it saves. Uh, one thing that you can do from this editor it, that you can't do from the other one is change the name of the page. So let's say I wanted instead of example, I wanted to change it now to be about because I really like the fact that it's about. Um, so let's say no. And now I could change it to about. Let's do about example because we have we have another page um, in our in our menu already that that's called about or another item in our in our menu that's called about. Uh, another thing that I forgot to mention is that you can't use special characters or spaces in the name of your page because that's what goes after the uh, the backslash here, the forward slash in your domain name, right? So you'd be consult.site.live slash example. You can't add spaces in there. Okay, so we're going to say submit. And what this is going to do is just going to basically change the name of our page to about example. Okay, and now if I press view live site, you can see our website is consult.site.live slash about example. And this question mark site equals live is just for the editor to know we're going to the live website. Anybody can now go to this website, or excuse me, this URL in and of itself though, and load your web page. All right, so if we open up the menu, this is what it looks like, right? We have our um, example link that we added right after the team section. Looks like we have quite a few items in the menu here so we might want to delete one or two of those uh, we have a link back to the home page consult.site.live so if I click that we're going back to a regular page and then here in the home page right we still have our link to our example page right after the team section that takes us back to about example All right so that's how easy it is to add a new page to your website okay now I want to show you how to add a page but replace the existing item in the menu with the new link to your new page. Okay, so in this particular case, let's do the testimonial section. So we're going to add a new page, copy over the content from the existing text testimonial section, and then replace where it says testimonials here with a link to that page, as opposed to right now what would happen if I click this is it would scroll down to the testimonial section of this page, right? Because that's just the default. Um, behavior. Anyhow, add a page and we're going to call it um, reviews just to be different. And we're going to add the testimonial section and we're going to say replace menu item this time. So click next and we're going to replace the testimonials and click finish. All right, and our page has now been created. All right. And again, once this loads, we'll be able to check out our new testimonials page that should have links to 
on not only all the items back in this menu, but also that new example page that we created. The easiest part about all of this is that Leia manages the process of adding and removing items from your menu for you across all your pages. So if you add a page or you delete a page, you don't have to go back into each specific web page and then re-add or remove the link to that page from those menus, if that makes any sense. Um, basically all that we had to do to create that first page is all that we're going to need to do to add new pages to our site. All right. So now let's open up the menu and we can see that we were able to replace the testimonials item in our menu with the new reviews page. So if I go to the live website here, no, just view site, and I open this up and I click reviews, instead of taking me down to the testimonial section of the last page, it takes me to the new reviews page. And it copied over the testimonial section of our old page. Had we worked really hard and uploaded some really good testimonials here, they would all be here and be cycling through one another. And if you open up this, you can see we also still have the link to our example page. And what I mentioned before is that Leia automatically adds and removes items from the menu bars of all your pages as you add or remove the pages themselves from your website. So super easy to do. Um, and then lastly, I'll just show you delete a page, right? Uh, if we wanted to delete a page that we had created, let's delete this example page for instance. Right, it's removed from the menu bar, and it's as easy as that. It will no longer be in our new um, reviews page, and it will no longer be in the menu bar of this page, this main consult.site.live page either. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, hope you found that informative and hope you decided to give Leia Business a try. Just like with Leia Pro, it is uh, that it has a one week free trial for you to make use of all this stuff before you decide that you'd like to commit and we hope you give it a shot so thanks again for tuning in for this video and I'm sure we'll be doing plenty more in the future but that's it for this 10 part intro to Leia series so thanks again for watching and thanks for being a user